German police arrested citizens of the Berlin airport holding signs saying, let Dr. Gassan Abusit Abusitta in. German authorities banned Dr. Gassan Abusitta. Remember, he is he, he is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon who was operating inside of Gaza until recently, until he had to evacuate. Germany is out of control they've lost their goddamn minds <laughs> by the way this picture uh true and on pod posted this antisemitismus ist verboten judenhund that, like arresting a jewish guy in germany for calling out the palestinian uh genocide that israel is doing is fucking insane and the dude has trump hair too it's just like no i know what hund means dude mehmed is jewish yeah this is uh mehmed posting he's a uh, turkish but he's i guess uh, uh allowed i know that what that means incredible stuff coming out of germany right now back-to-back <laughs> -back genocide champions or genocide losers i guess this is so insane to me like i see this and i'm like what the are you guys doing are you not thinking at all about how this looks they're just like <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Germany has been spiritually, the German state has been spiritually not all right, okay? <laughs> I've been talking about this for a minute now. I know that there are obviously a lot of uh, German leftists in the chat that get like kind of mad when I mention this stuff, but I mean, this is a ridiculous sight. This is a f ridiculous sight. Liberals love talking about optics until it's optics about them looking like Hitler. Yeah. Is my Holocaust survivor grandfather always said Germany never stopped being a Nazi state? I mean, yeah. By the way, German media is spinning it saying police crack down on a gathering of anti-Semitic Israel haters. That's pretty funny because, you know, this photo is pretty crazy. Talking about them sabotaging the electronics of the Palestine Congress and then shutting down the event after a few hours, even though it was supposed to go till Sunday. What is the whole context here? Did he trespass or something? What? No, man. No. No. No, no. No, the context is that DM25 was live streaming. There was a Palestinian Congress here. <sighs> Let me finish this and then I'll talk about it. Okay, um, let's talk about Germany and how Germany as a country is just spiritually not all right. What do I mean by this? Yanis Varoufakis and some other uh, some other individuals basically uh, were holding together a Palestinian Congress. This Congress in Germany, in Berlin, was supposed to talk about the conditions of Palestinians and how Israel is doing a genocide. Those things are true. Just, you know, they were supposed to talk about truth things this is a recent article but i want like specifically an article on the congress if you guys have it germany has been definitely cracking down on pro-palestinian protests going absolutely crazy mode with it <laughs> ali abunima got the right idea about germany germany must be completely demilitarized and banned forever from producing or pro possessing weapons other than lightly armed police forces under international supervision after bundeskanzler's support for the gaza genocide never again has to mean ever again <laughs> he's right nato the nazi American American terror organization must be abolished. He's so right, dude. This video sums up the German position pretty well. Meine Frage war, wie sollen sie sich aus deutscher Sicht wehren? Du hast gesagt, verhandeln oder kooperieren. Bro, just sent me a full-blown German video, dude. Are you insane? Like, no, no subtitles whatsoever. Just sent me a German talk show. No subs, no nothing. Bro, you think I can translate that what are you crazy not only do i speak very little german but i refuse to learn more german for two reasons one because i don't need to because when i go to berlin or kreuzberg everyone is turkish anyway so l knowing turkish is enough it's literally like being a spanish only speaker in like certain parts of america and two i refuse to speak german out of principle just like my father refuses to speak english out of principle even though he is fluent in german and will speak german i refuse to speak german out of principle for similar reasons i will do the accent though so here's what happened germany cancels pro-palestine event bars entry to gaza war witness so first thing that I saw this morning was uh, Abu Sitta, Ghassan Abu Sitta, Palestinian surgeon who was in Gaza until recently. Uh, as you guys know, I, I relied on a lot of the uh, I relied on a lot of the the uh, the firsthand accounts from him in the early stages of the genocide in Gaza. If you're that's probably why you remember his name. He's a British Palestinian surgeon uh, who uh, had to evacuate, and he was traveling to Germany. Except the German police had some different 
different opinions on that. They stopped them at the airport earlier today. And it didn't stop there, it seems. Uh, here is what they did. One of the main speakers, Ghassan Abusitta, a British Palestinian doctor, had earlier been denied entry into Germany to attend this event, the Palestinian Congress. The German government forcibly has prevented me from entering the country. He was invited to address a conference in Berlin about my work in Gaza hospitals during the present conflict. The German government has forcibly prevented me from entering the country, silencing a witness the genocide before the ICJ adds the German complicity in the ongoing massacre. The doctor who volunteered in Gaza hospitals during the first weeks of the Israel uh, Israel's uh, ethnic cleansing campaign said he arrived at Berlin Airport on Friday morning before being stopped at passport control, where he was held for several hours and told he had to return to the UK. Nine! Nine! They said. You will not enter the country! Arabic dog! They said. Airport police said he was refused entry due to the safety of the people at, at the conference in public order. Abu Sitta told the Associated Press. An event organizer, Nadija Samour, told Turkey's state-run Anadolu Agency, Anadolu Agence, Masadais, 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 Masadais. There is absolutely no legal basis for this, no justification at all. Abu Sitta is the dean of the University of Glasgow. I can't imagine that he's a dangerous person or a person who cite, incites violence. Quite the opposite. This is literally a doctor bro who spent his who, who spent the first and perhaps the more violent instances of israel's ethnic cleansing campaign saving people's lives inside of gaza abusita added that on x that uh, uh barring him from the event was sounds like a witness to genocide before the icj adds to germany's complicity in the ongoing massacre but it didn't stop the german police um the ss the gestapo continued their actions as police in berlin interrupted and canceled a pro-palestinian conference soon Soon after it started, hours after, one of the main speakers said authorities held him up at the airport and prevented him from entering Germany. Officers initially halted the Palestine Congress because another speaker was subject to a ban on political activity in Germany, police wrote on the social media platform X on Friday. They did not give the name of the speaker, but participants in Congress wrote on X that it was Palestinian researcher Salman Abu Sitta. Police later wrote on X that they had banned the remainder of the conference, which was being attended by about 250 people and due to last until Sunday. They said there were risks that the same speaker would be invited to talk again, accusing him of having made anti-Semitic statements in the past. Here's a video from the Berlin police, the Gestapo, canceling the pro-Palestinian Congress. Berlin police just canceled the entire Palestine Congress. I was the only speaker that successfully finished the speech. Salman Abu Sitta was cut off after one minute. Our live stream ended and the electricity cut off. They broke in. Check your current viewer locations, Twitch panel. A lot of Germans tuning in right now. Yeah. Um, they went in. They broke, apparently they broke through the panel and shut off the electricity by force and arrested people that were at the Palestine conference, including, but not limited to, a German Jewish person who is the head of the Jewish Voice for Peace in Germany. Here it is, a video I just received shows Polizei Berlin arresting the spokesperson of Jewish Voice for Peace in Germany, Udi Raz, as horrified onlooker shout never again amid the scenes so reminiscent of Germany's Nazi past including current Nazi present. SS unit arresting Jewish political dissident for protesting against ongoing genocide colorized. That shit's definitely gonna, that will probably get me hate speeched by, I suspect, the uh, German Twitter. They saw opposition to genocide and their epigenetic memory kicked in and they arrested him reflexively. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you don't understand. They're doing this because they're doing this because uh, um, they're doing this in a in in a in a anti anti semitism way. They're gonna ban you from Germany. No schnitzel. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, Nets DG alerts incoming. Holy moly! I guess they are simply just following orders. Here's another uh, here's another image from Red Palestine Congress in Berlin. Germany was shut down, and all peace activists were arrested. <laughs> Carried out by the most blanc cop in Germany. Yeah, no, it's like it is wild that they're not even thinking about like the the optics of the situation. Like it is just like. 
It is crazy. Like, how do you not see having the blondest cop in tactical gear, like, arresting a, a, a Jewish anti-Zionist protester? Like, how do you not, how do you not see what is going on? And I, no pun intended, not see. How do you not see what's happening here? They found the most Aryan cop to do the business, too. Like, it's crazy, dude. It is crazy. I mean, as a German, the angle of the optics, I don't find it all that concerning. The act in and of itself I find mar more concerning no the act in and of itself is of course infinitely more concerning but like the optics on the optics front at least you should have a moment of self-reflection like perhaps what I'm doing here spells something out to everyone that is not inside of Germany you know what I mean like that's a crazy thing to do it's a crazy thing to do across the board but like germans are so hopped up uh, on their own like unconditional support to israel uh, israel's genocide that they just don't recognize that the rest of the world looks at that and goes like excuse me what wh what do you mean you arrested you had the blondest you had the blondest cop go in to the palestine congress and arrest the jewish protester like you have to have a, a moment of of self-awareness here anytime the germans start arresting jews you got to give that a double take exactly bro what the f you have any idea why germany is anti-palestine hmm are you kidding me i've talked about this extensively i've talked about this extensively germany loves the current predicament israel is in why because one obviously there is a there is a level of guilt a collective guilt for the holocaust where they're like oh it was a uh, big oopsie but beyond that there's a second thing that is much better for them which is this way you can turn around and be like see the arabs are doing the holocaust now Obviously, politically, this works very well for German domestic politics because they are, there is a shit ton of Islamophobia in domestic German politics. This way you get to tie this back to uh, how all Arabs are, are uh, you know, anti-Semitic Jew haters, right? So then they can just basically say, oh, look at us, like we're defending the Jewish nation state. Uh, and also on top of that, uh, any moment that you're talking about like how Arabs are the real anti-Semites now, you're not thinking about the Holocaust. <laughs> Germans act like they understand the evils of the Holocaust more than the left is used. It's so funny. Yes, I've seen. That is a take I thought was fake originally. Um, yeah, here. There's four main points that this chatter is very uh, good at. The, this chatter uh, is, is describing it perfectly. One, collective guilt for the Holocaust. Two, they move the target to someone else. Three, they're very Islamophobic. And the target that they're moving it uh, towards is also, it happens to be like a like a, a Islamic target. So that works doubly well. Uh, four, they don't want... Juden in Europe, and no one can change my mind for the latter. I do agree with that as well. Also, uh, weapon sales. Uh, Germany is, uh, of course, you know, militarizing at a rapid clip. Here is uh, here uh, is the Polizei breaking into the control room at the Palestine Congress to shut down the electricity and power supply. Our team at the scene reports that the shutting of off of the organizers' live stream, police went from person to person demanding they stop live streaming from their phones, and then they announced that they were shutting down the entire event which had only been allowed to run for about 20 minutes. It was due to run for three days. Earlier in the day, police demanded that Congress organizers allow all German media into the Congress to safeguard free speech. <laughs> Hallo, hallo. Alles gut. Also bitte auch, wir haben einen Schlüssel. Wir haben Sie auch noch ein bisschen Abstand. Ja, natürlich. Wir sind auf einmal gekommen. Markus, danke für dich. Sie haben hier ganz laut und deutlich gesagt, dass Sie einen Schlüssel haben. Bro, I, I'm sorry. I look at this. I'm like, this is Nazi shit. I, I can't. Maybe I apologize to the Germans in the chat. But when I look at this, I'm like, this is some Gestapo shit. Like, this is straight up Gestapo shit. What the fuck? I can't unsee it. I've, I've seen it too many times throughout history. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Angeblich Pressefreiheit in Deutschland. Diese ganzen Journalisten da reingebracht. 
Yeah, they were saying in the background that they have a key and they still broke into the server room. Oh, abi kanake denmeye hazırlan Almanların Türkler için slurü kanake mi? Öyle mi diyorlar? Ne demek? Kanake ne? What is that? Apparently there's a slur that uh, Germans have for Turks. Kanake? What does that mean? Subhuman? Kanake evet. Berlin mayor says we have made it clear that the hatred of Israel has no place in Berlin. Anyone who does not abide by these rules will feel the consequence. Ich danke der Polizei Berlin für das entschlossene Einschreiten bei dieser Hass. Veranstaltung. Wir haben klar gemacht, welche Regeln in Berlin gelten. Wir haben klar gemacht, dass Israel Hass in Berlin kein Platz hat. Wer sich nicht daran hält, wird die Konsequenzen spüren. Ah! Such a beautiful language, uh, German. It's just like, <laughs> I would like to thank uh, the Berlin police for his decisive intervention at this hate event. At this hate event. We have made it clear which rules apply in Berlin. We have made it clear that hatred of Israel has no place in Berlin. Anyone who does not abide by these rules will feel the consequences. A lot of you in the chat whose parents celebrated the fucking wall coming down may not be feeling like it was a great move. Holy shit. Is a slur for all non-German. People use it also self-referential like the N-word by some black people. I cannot stress enough how incredibly frustrating it is that the conservatives are currently in power in Berlin. Though I doubt it would have made that much of a difference if the usual lefties were in power there given our government's position. Yeah. The guy whose tweet you read is the acting mayor of Berlin. Kai Wegner. Kanaka is a racist slur that Germans use against Sudländer, mainly used against Turks and North Africans. Say they do a lot of ne Kanakan Sprache, language of the Kanaks. Dude, that's sick. They have like a new slur. New slur unlocked. Berliners get the best kebabs in the world and what do they give in return? Yeah. W makes a V sound, so it's Vegna, which makes it funnier because crowds lol. Yeah. That wasn't on your slur day calendar, bro. We do international slurs around this, around these parts, okay? We're unlocking the new racist tomes to unlock new slurs. So, did you just admit Berlin kebabs are better than Turkey? Turkish. Some of the Berlin kebabs have had, I've had before, are if not as good, sometimes even better than the ones I've had, like Donar in Germany is very good. Very, very good. Like a shitty version of uh, uh, Donar in Turkey. It's the only place on the planet outside of Turkey where Donar is just as good. In some instances, maybe even better. Yokabi, no, 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 no. It's good. Mustafa's Gemüse Donar that I had in Berlin was unironically a life-changing experience for me. It actually shocked me how good it was. I've had Donar. I love Donar. I love Donar. I love it. The best Donar in the world is still in Turkey. Okay? 100%. I believe that. However, Mustafa is hype only, to be honest. There's better ones. I remember having it. I remember having Mustafa's Gemüse Donar many, 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 many years ago. And honestly, it was pretty fucking good. It was like the only place that I've had Donar outside of Turkey where I thought... It, it matches. Abi deme sonra döner Alman diyorlar. Valla no of, of course döner is not German. Anyone who says that is delusional. Anyway, it's like tacos. We all know Mexico has that on lock, but LA is second when it comes to tacos and shit. Yeah, I think so too. The word döner is Turkish. How can these Germans think it's from Germany? I mean, what do you think? These people are delusional. Anyway, what is this? Here's the Berlin mayor whose statement you read with a known anti-Semite. Please check it out. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Anyway, Germany defends itself at the International Court of Justice by saying that its foreign policy after the Holocaust is built around defending Israel rather than preventing mass atrocities. That's the wrong lesson to draw. There's just, I like that they're admitting it. All right, here is, here is uh, Ghassan Abusita giving an exclusive interview to Middle East Eye after he was barred entry into Germany, which to be fair, I will say good riddance. I mean, no one should go there. Holy fuck, dude. My name is Dr. Ghassan Abusita. I've just returned from Germany where I had been prevented from entering the country for attending a conference in Germany to give evidence on the war in Gaza and my witness statement uh, as a doctor working in its hospitals. So this morning at 10 o'clock I landed in Berlin to attend a conference on Palestine where I had been asked along with many um, others in the UK, in the United States, and in Europe, to give my evidence of the 43 days that I had seen in the hospitals in Gaza, working in both Shifa and Al-Ahli Hospital. Upon um, arrival, I was stopped at the passport office. I was then escorted down to the basement of the airport, where I was questioned for around three and a half hours. Um, at the end of three and a half hours, I was told that I will not be allowed to enter German soil 
that I will and that this ban will last the whole of April and not just that that if I were to try to set to link up by zoom uh, um, I don't know, I made or FaceTime up. with the conference even if I was outside Germany or I were to send a video of my lecture to the conference in Berlin then um, that would constitute a breach of German law and mm. that I would endanger myself uh, to having a fine or even up to a year of prison. I then was asked at the end to book a flight back. Someone seems pretty defensive, huh? Okay, you get five minutes off. The other guy got 30 seconds off, but you get five minutes to, off. Uh, the UK. Uh, my passport was taken away from me, and then I only got my passport back as I was uh, boarding the plane. As Germany is defending itself against the... Nicaraguan charges that it is an accomplice uh, to the genocidal war as described by the International Court of Justice. This is exactly what accomplices to a crime do. They bury the evidence and they silence or harass or intimidate uh, the witnesses. And so as members of a gang that has committed a heinous crime, Germany is doing its bit in that crime, which is to ensure that there is complete impunity and so that the genocide can continue uninterrupted. So uh, the Jewish intellectual Hannah Arendt, in the first uh, lecture that she gave in Germany in 19... How is this legal? He's a British citizen? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what do you mean, dude? It doesn't matter. Like, he, he's brown. He's Palestinian, okay? He's defending Palestine. There are German Jews that they're arresting. Why wouldn't they fucking arrest? Why would they uh, uh, refuse entry to a, 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 a British college dean slash surgeon? I don't know why you won't say Germany's doing this because of Islamophobia. That's the main reason. Wait, what? I did say that. No, it's not just Islamophobia. There is a broad, there are broader societal reasons as to why Germany, it, it is Islamophobia for sure. It's like the, the, the major reason it is playing a major role, but it's not just Islamophobia, even though I have mentioned that it is Islamophobia. 1958, after the second world war, she said, we humanize what is going on in the world and in ourselves by speaking of it. And in the course of speaking of it, we learn to be human. There is so much peril before us. To speak of it in earnest, un we, to understand the causes and the alternative is to practice our humanity. And this crackdown on free speech is a dangerous precedent because what is happening in Gaza is a dangerous precedent. We are watching the- You're putting more emphasis on other things? Yes, because I think that uh, weapon sales to Israel and also seemingly ridding them of the collective guilt of the Holocaust by changing the attention over, by shifting the attention over to uh, Arabs and Muslims, which is Islamophobia for sure, is the major reason. The first genocide unfold in the 21st century and for Germany to become implicated as an accomplice in silencing the witnesses of this genocide bode, does not bode well for the rest of the century. There is no real guilt for the Holocaust as a fucking excuse they use to justify Israel's support. Guilt for the Holocaust would mean supporting Palestine. A lot of our Jewish comrades here in Germany have been saying this for a while. Germany doesn't just want to defend Israel. They want to be Israel. Every day we see it more and more clearly. Yes, Yanis Varoufakis was supposed to talk at this event as well. Um, and he didn't get to. Es ist gut, dass die Berliner Polizei ein hartes Durchgreifen beim sogenannten Palestine Kongress in Berlin angekündigt gehabt. Wir behalten die islamistische Sene sehr eng im Visier. It is good that the Berlin Police have announced a tough crackdown on the so-called Palestine Congress in Berlin. We are keeping a very close eye on the Islamist scene, says Nancy Faser. The Islamistische Propaganda und Hass gegen Judinnen. What? Judinnen and Juden. Wer bereit 
Zeit muss wissen. Okay, dude, dude, we have to do it again. We uh, There's a rule. Germans are not allowed to say Jew or Jewish. When you say it, okay, when you say it, it's like it just triggers something in my brain, okay? I'm not even kidding. You just, you should never be allowed to say those words. You just use another language, use English, be like Jewish people. You know what I mean? When they say it, it just seems different. You know what I mean? <laughs> Phaser is a big fan of surveillance too. Shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Judinnen und Juden, wer bereit muss wissen, dass das schnell und konsequent vergolt, verfolgt wird. Wir brauchen ein sofortiges, hartes Einschreiten, wenn solche Straftaten begangen werden. So Ministerien Pfizer. Anyone who spreads Islamist propaganda and hatred against Juden must know that this will be prosecuted quickly and Un consistently. We need immediate tough action when such crimes are committed, said the minister, Phaser. The actors in Zona interest were hitting it too hard. That's what I mean. That's what I mean, dude. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. You're yelling German so loud that people in the office probably think I'm a Nazi now. Thanks, bud. <sighs> This German accent is frightening. Trust me, it's frightening to me too. Germany getting called out. Namibia rejects Germany's support for the genocidal intent of the racist Israeli state against innocent civilians in Gaza on Namibian soil. Yeah. Oh, Germany committed the first genocide of the 20th century. Yeah. Anyway, I love how your dog doesn't give a fuck about all those screams. Yes, she's very, she's knocked out, very tired. But uh, here are his words uh, that he was slated to say at the Palestine Congress, which he was not allowed to. Now let's get back to, yeah. Let's get back to the what happens if Israel goes to war with Iran. My own university has disinvited a Jewish American philosopher, Nancy Frazier, of taking up a professorship because she spoke out against the killings in Gaza. Absolutely shameful. Dude, I think people don't understand. The Western world doesn't give a fuck about Jews. They care about Israel as a strategic entity. That's why the broadest coalition of pro-Israel sentiment comes from the most rabid anti-Semites in this country. Dudes who unironically ironically think Jews have horns and tails and shit. The fucking white evangelicals in these goddamn mega churches in the South. The broadest coalition of pro-Israel sentiment is not amongst the American Jews. It is evangelical Protestant Christians for theological reasons, okay? Those motherfuckers don't like Jewish people. They're like, yeah, like the Balfour Declaration. They're like, yeah, let God sort them out over there in the desert. I don't want to be around Jews. They have horns. Send them down to the desert. That's their f take. That's it. That is precisely why. Do Israelis know this? And do they care? No, they don't. I don't think they give a shit. I think many people don't know this. There's a multitude of different reasons. Most conservatives don't like Jews. They just hate Muslims more. There's that. Obviously, they hate Muslims more than they hate Jewish people. So there's that. That's a big role as well. Some see it as a bulwark, like uh, some see Israel as like the 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 only power to like combat the Islamic hordes. Um, and many also have a Armageddon theological justification for Israel's existence. They believe that once the chosen sons and daughters of God occupy Israel permanently, that the Armageddon will happen, the rapture will happen, Jesus Christ will come back, the second coming will happen, and Jesus will fight the devil in Megiddo. It sounds insane like it's a goddamn anime when I repeat myself, but that is the real reason. And there are tens of millions of these people that genuinely believe this. It sounds so f stupid. And you know what happens to the Jews in that process when the rapture happens? They also burn in hell unless they convert to evangelical Christianity, of course. So it's not like it's not like these guys are, uh, you know, fond of Jewish people at all. 